Dunara, McKellar's childhood home in Point Piper Isabel Marion Dorothea McKellar, OBE was an Australian poet and fiction writer. Her poem My Country is widely known in Australia, especially its second stanza, which begins, I love a sunburnt country slash a land of sweeping plains comma slash of ragged mountain. Ranges comma slash of droughts and flooding rains. Dorothea McKellar dressed as one of the graces for Mrs. T. H. Kelly's Italian Red Cross Day tableaus at the Palace Theatre. June 20, 1918 The third child and only daughter of physician and parliamentarian Sir Charles McKellar and his wife Marion McKellar. The daughter of Thomas Buckland, she was born in the family home Donara at Point Piper, Sydney, Australia in 1885. Her later home was Sintra at Darling Point, and in 1925, she commissioned a summer cottage, Terengea at Lovett Bay, an isolated location on Pittwater reachable only by boat. A woman of independent means, she published poetry and other works between 1908 and 1926 and was active in the Sydney literary scene of the 1930s. Being involved with the Sydney Publishers, Editors, and Novelists Club, the Bush Book Club of New South Wales and the Sydney PEN Club. In her later years she ceased writing and, suffering poor health, her last 11 years were spent in a nursing home in Randwick where she died in 1968, aged 82. She is buried in Waverley Cemetery, in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. Although she was raised in a professional urban family, McKellar's poetry is usually regarded as quintessential bush poetry, inspired by her experience on her brother's farms near Gunnedah, in the northwest of New South Wales. Her best-known poem is My Country, written at age 19 while homesick in England, and first published in the London Spectator in 1908 under the title Core of My Heart, the second stanza of this poem is among the best known in Australia. Four volumes of her collected verse were published, The Closed Door, The Witch Maid, and other verses, Dream Harbor, and Fancy Dress. In addition to writing poems, McKellar also wrote novels, one by herself, Outlaw's Luck, and at least two in collaboration with Ruth Bedford. These are The Little Blue Devil and Two's Company. According to Dale Spender, little has been written or is yet known about the circumstances behind this collaboration. In the New Year's Day honors of 1968, Dorothea McKellar was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire for her contribution to Australian literature. She died two weeks later in Paddington, New South Wales after a fall. She is buried with her father and family in Waverley Cemetery overlooking the open ocean. Also her poem Colour, her own favourite, was read at the service. A federal electorate covering half of Sydney's northern beaches is named in her honour as well as McKellar Crescent in the Canberra suburb of Cook. On Australia Day, January 26, 1983, a memorial to Dorothea McKellar was unveiled and dedicated in Anzac Park, Benada. The centerpiece of the memorial, a statue of McKellar on horseback by Dennis Adams, was a temporary fiberglass version. The finished bronze version was installed in September 1983. In conjunction with the January unveiling, there was an exhibition of a series of 34 watercolor paintings by Jean Isherwood illustrating My Country. The watercolors were eventually put on permanent display in the Gunnada Bicentennial Regional Gallery. Isherwood set about painting a series of oils based on the watercolors which were exhibited at the Artarman Galleries in Sydney in 1986. In 1984, Gunnada resident Mikey Moss created the Dorothea McKellar Poetry Awards, which has grown into a nationwide poetry competition for Australian school students. Thanks for watching.